Hello friends, welcome back. Today we would be learning an extremely interesting and a very useful topic that is how to automatically convert an Excel file to a VCF or a VCAD file. So this is my Excel file. You could see it has few contact numbers. It has the first name, last name and the phone number. The task is we have to convert this into a VCAD file so that we would be easily able to export the data into the mobile phone or tabs because that is the format which is accepted by all the devices. So let's first see a demo. So when I click, when I will click on this generate VCF button at this location, like I have mentioned this location, the Excel automation VCF in this folder a VCF file will get created. So when I click on this button within one second, you get this message VCF file created. I click on OK. I go to the location which I have mentioned in my script and you could see there is this file test VCF. Now if I want to open it, I'll do a right click open with I will select Windows contacts and now you could see this is the first contact F name L name and whatever is the name uh, number over here if I click on cancel it will show me all the contacts which were there in my Excel spreadsheet have been transmitted in this VCF file So you saw with the help of this macro we can convert the contacts into a VCF file within seconds and once the VCF file is created it is very easy to import all the contacts from the VCF to the iOS or an Android phone. So now the question is what is the script which is doing the task. So without wasting any time let's go and see the script which is performing the task of converting all the contacts into the VCF file. So this is the VBA macro script which is doing our job so I'll explain you so here I have given the name of the sub like you could give any name of your choice I have given the name as export to VCF and now in the next line which I'm highlighting right now I have created two variables FSO and file path FSO is needed to work on the file system here we are creating a file VCF is also a file so the line which I'm highlighting I am initializing my FSO object and using the scripting dot file system object without this I won't be able to create a file in my system because of which I am using this scripting dot file system object this is very important next variable I am setting it to the location where I want to store my VCF file so this is the location we had earlier seen at this location my VCF file got generated and the name of the file was test VCF why because here I have mentioned the name of the file as test VCF. The next line is very important. This line we are creating another variable called file stream and we are telling that create a file using the FSO object which we had created earlier at the location file path. So at this point a file an empty VCF file will get created at the location which is mentioned in the file path variable. The next few lines of code are very important. This is the heart of this tutorial because these few lines of code which I am highlighting right now is actually filling in the data to create the VCF file it these lines of code are reading the data from this Excel sheet these columns a B and C and then writing it into the VCF file so it's very simple we have used one while loop over here and this while loop will terminate when it will find a blank value in column A. You could see when the column A becomes blank th there are no other contacts to be added so the while loop will terminate and then this line of code will execute which will close the VCF file. So at this line we had created the VCF file and the line which I am highlighting right now file stream dot close it will save and close the VCF file. Do not worry about this because this entire code is available at this blog in the Excel to VCard page. So all the code is available over here. You could just directly use it and you would be able to create your own macro to create the VCF file. Now I'll just give you a brief description like uh, what is there within this while loop the first three lines are very simple we are just reading the data from the data sheet you could see we are referring to the columns a b and c and reading the data the next 
few lines of code where we could see file stream dot write line those are very important these lines are actually inserting the contacts into the VCF file and has some keywords begin week are version those kind of stuff so anybody wants to get into the details of what these keywords are from where they are coming they could refer to this standard website I'll show you like this vcard format specification it has all the details you could just uh, read through it and you will find all the details like with the keywords which we have used in our macro we have just referred to this document I will give you an example we have used this keyword fn to store the first name and last name and now if you would see the website I would just search for fn and if I go to the link you could see fn is being used for the first name and last name so like fn there are multiple placeholders like there are multiple place placeholders for example the email id nickname so these also can be added into the vcf file but now we are just using the first name last name and the phone number for phone number the keyword is tel so this is it like uh, just using these keywords we could create the vcf file and using this macro within seconds we could generate the vcf file i'll show you its execution before executing i am deleting the existing vcf file so there is nothing over here i come to the macro script and now hit the run button you could see within few seconds this message box has come this message box is coming from this line of code and now if we move back to the location which is the excel automation vcf this file is generated if I do a right click open with Windows contacts I would be able to see the contacts which were listed in my Excel spreadsheet so the VCF file is ready if you are using an Android phone if you just send this VCF file using WhatsApp or an email when you open this file you will get the option to import the contacts if you are using the iOS and iPhone so in that case you'll have to open your iCloud account go to contacts and then you could import all the contacts in one go through this VCF file all the steps and code are already provided on the blog which I had just shown few minutes ago you could refer it and create your own VCF files I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you like my videos I would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest tutorials I would be uploading guys thanks for joining I'll see you soon have a nice day